Hello again. Today I'm going to be unboxing Key's latest album, Killer. This is actually a repackage of his Gasoline album, which if you go through my archives, you'll see that I previously unboxed that album. And although I'm not opposed to making more unboxing videos, they're not my favorite kind of content to make. That's not really the intention of this channel. So if you had even asked me like a month ago, are you going to be unboxing the, the next Key album? I probably would have said, it was unlikely that I would probably just skip it and you know maybe I'll, I'll unbox more Red Velvet or twice but I, I don't know that I'm gonna do Key and and how can he how can he outdo the VHS version well he did it because he appealed to my my gamer sensibilities with this album and as soon as they revealed the first teasers and all the album details I knew that my wife was gonna buy all the versions and that I was probably gonna want to unbox them all so here we are. We are once again unboxing a key album. So as you can see, we have all the versions. We have the, I believe this is called the CRT version. We have the zine version. And then this is like a game box. I forget what this version is actually called, but I'm calling it the, the game version. This is the cool version. So let's start looking through these albums. And I think I'm going to start with the big, big photo book version, and then we'll We'll get to these other ones. All right, and to start off, we have the zine version, which has, I mean, this is just such a cool cover. I'm really digging like the use of the really bright pink and this very angular sort of pixelized font for Killer. I mean, he uses it throughout the, the album boxes, but I just find this, this whole album cover very striking. And here's the back. And of course, it's the, the stapled version, not my favorite format of album, but SM likes to do that currently. So let me, um, let me pull out the extra stuff before we get started. All right, now that I've pulled that stuff out, let's look through this. I see, so we're not just doing some like 80s video game stuff, we've also got some like what do they call that? Y2K aesthetic with the the old iBook. This is very bright and colorful, which is quite the difference compared to gasoline, which was very dark, but I think they both work. I'm just very much into, I don't know, how bright this is. Very colorful. And also, because I'm a nerd, I really like the, the old computer interface design. I think it looks really nice. Oh, I'm guessing this is our track list. It's done up as folders. That's really cool. Got key with a phone, key with a tape player, key in his cool like devil horn hoodie. Yeah, very pink album. Oh, there's even like an interview. That's neat. Too bad I can't read Korean. An old CRT with a built-in VHS player. Perfect for playing your your gasoline movie. Ooh, that's spooky. I like it. Man, is this supposed to be like inside the game world? Okay, cool, so there's our lyrics for Killer. Great song, just Key Key just has not been missing with his recent solo efforts. My wife tells me that this album is like ending the trilogy that started with Bad Love, and I don't know what he's going to do next. He just has been so ambitious with all of these album styles and all the songs have just been amazing. I think if you weren't already a fan of Key before 2021, I think you uh, you might be by this point. Yeah, just kudos to the the design team that worked on this. The, this album is very cool.
Oh, look at that. So we've got what we got here. All right, nerd nerd cred time. We've got a is that a that looks like a Famicom, but so we've got like a Nintendo Famicom, but then like there's cartridges that are the Super Famicom and then like PlayStation controllers and maybe some smartphones there's a lot going on here it's a real mishmash of of video games okay and that was the photo book very nice let's get the other stuff that comes with this so it looks like to start we have some stickers. These are holographic, which is always fun. You guys know my stance on holographic. Very cool. And then it looks like we have a postcard. Key in his cool hoodie. We have the CD, which comes in like a little envelope this time. And there's the CD plate. Say hello to my camera. And looks like we have some sort of mini poster. Let's see. All right, cool. Again, very pink. This is definitely the like key color of this album. And of course, then we have our photo card. Oh, cool, that's cute. He's winking, got like a cute little face. Very cute. And there's the back again, just so you can see. Very nice. So yeah, so that was the zine version of Key's album. Now let's move on to the CRT version. All right, next we have what I believe is called the CRT version, modeled after an old CRT television. So here's the front and the back, looking like a back of a TV. Looks like they have little logos for each song as well. There's one side and there's the other. And it looks like this is kind of a throwback to some older SM packaging. I know that some of my wife's older shiny albums have packaging like this. And I definitely have some for Red Velvet. I believe like RBB and Bad Boy, The Red, maybe one more, maybe on The Velvet as well. There's a few albums that have this kind of like box with photo book and jewel case. So we're, we're, we're doing multiple kinds of throwbacks in this album. So I think I'll um, start with the photo book and then we'll get into the album itself. So there's the cover and the back. Like why don't I put this down and just zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. And I'm not trying so hard to hold it. It's cool we got this very like pixelated character portrait of key. Start button, let's start this out. Ooh. Now that, that is cool. Dang, I like that a lot. SM, can you release like a video game version of this album? I'd love that. Just do some like 8-bit versions of all the songs. I will, I will pay a steep price if you put as much effort into that as you did for this album. Dang. Oh, I see. I think my, my wife told me about this. So the backgrounds for each are for the different albums. So this is Bad Love. And here we have Gasoline with the, the castle in the background from that album. Very cool. Yeah, there it is again. Very pixelated version of that castle. Dang, this is super cool. So far, like both of these versions have been awesome. And then this must be the killer album concept. Kind of Tron-esque.
Definitely blue is one of the more dominant colors of this album version. Nice. Dang, good job. Oh man, this looks great. The end of a chapter does not mean an end to all. I will give everything to broaden my horizons and achieve better results. Got it. Dang, good job, Key. That was awesome. All right, let's zoom back out just a little bit. So cool, so that was the photo book. And I like that it kind of, uh, I guess you could probably even like switch it out so you'd have like, you either have the photo book be the, the cover or the actual jewel case itself. Does that, does that work at all? Let's see, oh yeah, you totally could. Oh, that's neat. In fact, because it's reflective, I kind of prefer it myself. But okay, then we have the CD jewel case itself. There's the back. In the front. And oh, a very cool CD plate. Very, very cool. And then I assume this is going to be like lyrics and stuff since I don't remember that being part of the photo book itself. Let's see. Stage one. Again, I'm just loving all this pixel art. Dang, this looks great. Even the pixelized font. Just when you think he can't outdo himself, he, he they really went hard for this album. And I don't know if I've said it, but the, the title track itself is just phenomenal. I love Killer. I like some of the new songs too, but I just haven't listened to them as much as I have the title itself. Now for the rest of the stuff we have, looks like a little, I don't know, like a kind of a square postcard. It says Killer on the back. And then we have more stickers. Looks like this is like all the the album titles. Or these are backwards, so maybe these are like, are these like tattoos or? Actually, I'll have to look up what this is because as you see, they're all backwards. These must be like temporary tattoos or something because that's the only thing I can think of that would make sense. And then we have our photo card with a very cool, like again, kind of Tron inspired back. And ooh, I like this. I like his like track suit. Very nice, very cool photo card key. All right, and I think I'm gonna, I don't know how my wife feels, but I'm gonna put this back the way I would prefer. Oh, like so. I think that looks super cool. If you agree, let me know in the comments. All right, now let's move on to the final one, the game box version. Okay, and if you couldn't tell, I have saved what I think is the best for last. This is what I'm calling the game box version, regardless of what SM might call this. It is, this is a little smaller than the VHS that we have, but it's similar packaging. It's just like a little bit thinner, I would say, and maybe, maybe shorter. I haven't done like a size comparison, but I'm kind of looking at the VHS now, and I would say, yeah, this is definitely a, a shorter box, height-wise, and it's certainly narrower. It'd be cool if this were more like a DVD case or, I don't know, something that reminded me either of, some th of a game from like the PlayStation 2 or even the PlayStation 1 era. There's, I think just because it's blue, it makes me think of the PlayStation 3 with its Blu-ray cases. All right, and here's the back. We have our track list. We have some player options. Uh, it's apparently real racing. Gosh, this looks great. And then I, I would say it's rated K for key, uh, but it says killer instead. And this is limited. Oh, this looks great. And uh, there's the side. It has 14 tracks, but it 
with the little racing flag. It makes you think it's like racing tracks. This is, ah, oh, I love little touches. If you can't tell, I'm kind of nerding out about this. So let's open this thing up. And there it is. The, I thought they might have actually made a game cartridge when I saw a picture of this, but it's actually like a photo book of some sort. So we'll, we'll look through that, but I gotta get out all the extra stuff first. Now that I've done that, let's, um, let's move that up and we'll just take a quick flip through of this little, this very mini photo book that looks like an old game cartridge. Isn't this neat? Look at this. How cool is that? Oh, and inside it's like a little, it's like a little circuit board. Look at that. Oh, very cool. Choose a player. What a neat idea. It's a little awkward as a photo book, but this is super cool. Stage clear. Neat, this is super neat. Well, all I will say to the rest of the K-pop industry is that if you uh, want to win, best packaging of the year award this is your benchmark so you know consider that the challenge this is just super creative and i really like i i would say this was true about gasoline as well that like each version even though it's like the same concept they each like even the photo books have like a different feel i remember for gasoline like the two different photo book versions were completely different concepts and characters and like i said even though like we're covering some of the same outfits and stuff like the each of these just feels different very slick Very cool. We end with some character art. Play again. I definitely will. Dang. That's super cool. Good job, Key. All right, so that was like the little mini cartridge photo book. And then I assume this is going to be our lyrics book. Ooh, also very cool. It This, I will say, if I would give one bit of note to SM, it would be that I feel like this should have looked more like a an instruction manual. I think that would have really sold the concept. This is still really cool, but if you could have found some way to really lean into the the game box concept and make this like the instruction manual, that would have been great. But still very cool. And then we have our CD plate, which is very pink and electric. Very cool. Now let's see what else we get as part of this album. All right, so to start off, looks like we have another mini poster. Ooh, not, ooh, this is super cool. This is like anime key. This is awesome, look at that. All the speed lines. And even the art style a little bit kind of gives me a um, initial D vibe. That's super cool. And then we have two photo cards. One, I believe this is the collectible card. And this looks like it's slightly hollow, which is cool. And she got like the character portrait. Oh, that looks so cool. Very, very nice. I love it. And then here is our actual photo card. And we got this one. Again, I really like this tracksuit. 
And again, there's the back with its purple and pink, in case you were interested. All right, well, that was all the versions. Let me gather everything up and we will wrap things up. All right, well, that was my unboxing for Keys, the second album repackage, Killer. I hope you guys enjoyed this little flip through as much as I did. As always, if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a comment, you can like, you can even subscribe if you aren't already. And I would also say go listen to the new Key album. Go listen to Killer. It's a very good song as usual, and I think we're just, you know, pretty lucky to have someone so creative putting out music right now. But that's going to do it for today. Until the next video, so long.